Uh, yeah, we, uh, well, we all know that it's, it's difficult enough to uh, to win Premier League games with uh, 11 on the field to play. We unfortunately lost one at half time, uh, so that made it more difficult for us. Obviously, uh, first half went quite at the level we needed to be. Obviously, talked about that at half time, but didn't really get the chance to uh, to do anything about it. Obviously, when uh, Ryan got sent off within a couple of minutes, so uh, it's always going to be difficult from that point. In fairness, uh, I thought the lads in the second half stuck at it, even though they were one man down, um, and it needed, as I said, after the game needed a good strike to to get them in front, which is well, what they obviously were were needing at that stage. Up to that point, I didn't think we were coming under too much pressure, but uh, uh, first goal for them obviously was going to make it even more difficult for us. What's Ryan said to you since? No, I think we're a little bit disappointed with the, the first booking, in as much as that uh, made a genuine attempt to get the ball. The, the lad was a little bit sharp; he just got there in front, but uh, carried on playing. Um, I think the referee could have given him the benefit of the doubt on that one, certainly on the first one. Second one as well. I, I'm not convinced that uh, the officials were were certain that. Ryan didn't get a touch on the ball. Uh, that's what he said he did. Um, so, when you look back on the two incidents, you're, you're a little bit disappointed that the referee thought they both merited yellow cards. Really. Did you converse with the referee afterwards? Make you feel no, not really. I've, I've stopped doing that. To be perfectly honest, wasted time. So you just gotta lick your wounds and get on with it, basically. I thought there were open, free-flowing chats with the. the well, you might have that, but <laughs> we don't particularly. But uh, can get a little bit one-sided, so sometimes it's not really worth the effort. But uh, yeah, on the day it was uh, a little bit disappointing. I mean, we played 90 odd minutes um, down to 10 men, and I think in the whole 90 minutes we were awarded four free kicks in our favour. So you think, well, uh, it was a little bit one-sided in terms of uh, decisions uh, going against us. I would suggest. Stoke fan, jubilant Stoke fan yesterday, telling me you, you're going to Wembley. Right. Let's hope he's right. Um, no, we, we've got an opportunity, like everybody else, left in the competition. Uh, I'm not going to underestimate Sheffield Wednesday in any way, shape or form, because you look at uh, their progression in the competition, they've, they've beaten two Premier League sides already, so uh, coming up against us won't phase them, so we've got to be ready for that. But uh, we're at home. Um, when the draw was made, they were one of the teams, I think we're honest enough in saying that they were one of the teams that we wanted uh, and to have them at home as well, uh, we can't argue about that. So if we're going to progress, um, it should be in our favour, the, the draw that we've had, so we're going to make the most of it. You'll be playing the strongest side because th th this is a big chance, isn't it? To, uh, you know, yeah, to yeah. Play. I mean, we right from the start at the beginning of the season, we, we've said we want to progress in this competition. So, I've made changes because I felt uh, players needed to, to be t protected in some games, but uh, the vast majority uh, of the games we've gone strong. We can do because we've, we've got a strong squad and we've got senior players that are not getting games at the moment. So, uh, um, But I don't anticipate we all see changes and we'll be like in the early rounds where you're uh, trying to uh, obviously um, get people on the pitch just to give them minutes. That's, that's not the case now because uh, we're we're deep into the season now, and we'll 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 look at it. Um, we understand the strengths of Sheffield Wednesday, and uh, I'll pick a team based on on what I think will win the game. Will Jack play because he's a bit of a star in the last round? Isn't he? Yeah, Jack is down to play. Yeah, yeah. We uh, obviously we're, we're missing Shea Graven at the moment, so uh, um, Jack. Yeah, he's one of the the definites on on the team sheet tomorrow. And how much do you know about your opposition? Well, obviously, you know, you've looked at the last round, but how much do you know? No, they're a good side, good championship side. They've got uh, players that have played at a higher level as well. So uh, uh, that's the reason we, we won't underestimate them. Um, you look at the way they play, they've got good power, they've got good pace in key areas of the field as well. So we've got to be ready and, and not be surprised by anything that they can produce and just make sure that our level is is good and um, we take the game away from them. It's not going to be easy, they're, they're going to bring a big following. We'll obviously have the 
vast majority of the crowd, so uh, we fully expect our fans to, to outshout them. So uh, I think it's, it, it all shapes up for a really great cup tie. Um, there's always a special atmosphere here under the floodlights as well, so I think the, the lads enjoy playing here on cold Tuesday nights, so, as they're called. So uh, we'll look forward to it. Cold Tuesday the Brit. Um, mm. Who's in and who's out? You've got knocks from the weekend. Uh, no, we're not too bad actually. Um, Peter Odenwingi has has got a slight uh, hamstring pull, so he's not available. Ryan obviously is suspended. Um, Phil Bardsley missed at the weekend; he got a bang on his calf in training, uh, but we're hopefully he might be okay. So uh, Mike Moniesa played for the under 21s, came through that had 70 minutes, so uh, he uh, he came through unscathed and, and enjoyed. Game time again. So, uh, apart from the ones I mentioned that uh, are unavailable, we're we're pretty pretty strong. How much are you still targeting winning the cup during your time as state manager? Because when you first arrived, I can remember you saying it was high on your list of things that you wanted to achieve. Yeah, it's never changed. I've said many times that there's only so many trophies that we're involved in that we can realistically win, and league league cup is certainly one of those. So, uh, why would you? Not have a real go at it and try and progress as, as far as you can. I think I've done that in every season that I've been here. Uh, we've got to two or three rounds almost every season. Um, negotiated them, and uh, here we are. We're one step away from a two-legged semi-final. If we can overcome a very good Sheffield Wednesday side who are playing some good stuff at the moment in a good run of form, so uh, their confidence will be high. So. It's it's a tough tough tie, but uh, I think the fact that they've gone up against Premier League sides in previous rounds, I think that's that's a warning for us that we we shouldn't underestimate, which we won't, uh, because they've got ability and they've got good power and pace and good understanding of what's required. So uh, it'll be a tough tie, but uh, we'll look look to progress. How much is that the main message you've got to send to your players? And sort of don't underestimate these. Treat them with utmost respect. Yeah, you always do that. Even when uh, you're in different competitions in the FA Cup or whatever competition you're in, if you're playing a team at uh, which plays a trade at a, at a lower level, then you've got to fully expect them on any given day to raise their their uh, level of performance and uh, give it a real go. They've got nothing to lose. They're going well in their their own league, so you, you would expect that. This game is one that they can come here and, and look to enjoy, and that sometimes can give teams freedom that they don't show in, in their league games. So uh, we've got to be wary, but um, they know that we're a good side. And uh, last weekend, a side we, we've been playing exceptionally well of late. So uh, we, we hope to continue in the same vein, almost without fault when uh, we've had a disappointing result. Uh, we usually bounce back very, very quickly. So that's what I anticipate will happen this time. Mm -hmm. Do you target as their main kind of threats? On the no, they're a big, strong side. They, they get the ball forward quickly. They, they've got good threats, good pace. Um, a couple of big lads up front that they can go to. Um, got good ability in wide areas as well. That likes a Bannon, who, who's obviously played at Premier League level as well over the years. So uh, um, look solid at the back. Two good fullbacks. So on paper. And having seen them, they they look a good mix, and and you factor in the the, the situation now in terms of their confidence. They're playing well, so they're enjoying their football. It seems so. Um, they'll be they'll be ready to to go up against us, I'm sure. But uh, we're ready too. Uh, Mark Bui, has it, if he's had um, some games, does that mean he could come straight into the team? Well, obviously we we're, we're missing Ryan, so um, yeah, there may well be a, a place for. For Mark, not necessarily starting, but certainly he's an option if if we need him. Okay, thank you, guys.